This video is brought to you by JLC PCB. Most of you guys might don't know about Thinker.io, which is basically an IoT cloud platform. Unlike other IoT platforms, including Arduino IoT Cloud, Blink, ThinkSpeak, Adafruit IO, Google Spreadsheet, Firebase, Kine, UV Dots, etc., the Thinker.io IoT cloud platform can also be used for monitoring different types of sensors and for controlling different types of electrical devices. Since this is my first video on the Thinker.io, so I'm going to start with a very simple project that is the Home Automation Project. For this project, you will need Node MCU ESP8266 Wi Fi module. You will also need a relay module and 110 or 220 volt AC bulbs. As a beginner, it is good to start with some LEDs because once you learn how to control LEDs, then you can replace those LEDs with transistors, MOSFETs and relays for controlling high ampere and high voltage electrical loads. Anyway, this is the prototype model. I have connected everything as per the circuit diagram, which I will explain in a minute. For demonstration purposes, I'm using four bulbs, which are connected to four relays. Besides lights, you can use any other 110 or 220 volt AC loads or use any other DC type loads. If you want to use 110 or 220 volt AC supply, you must not forget to use protective gloves because 110 or 220 volt AC can prove fatal. So as far as possible, you must ensure the presence of a friend or any companion while carrying on work on such projects. When the AC supply is on, do not touch the relay module. Let's go ahead and start a practical demonstration so that you can see everything for yourself. This video is sponsored by JLC PCB. Feel free to visit their website jlcpcb.com slash scale to not only find out what awesome PCB and assembly services they offer, but also to easily upload your Gerber files. It automatically detects the number of layers and dimensions. Select the number of PCBs you want to order. Select your favorite PCB color. The price is automatically updated as you select different features. Finally, you can click on the Save to Cart button. You will only need to pay $2 for 1 to 4 layers PCBs and $0 for your PCB assembly. Besides this, JLC PCB also offers industrial 3D printing services starting at only $1. You can start by clicking on the first link in the description. Right now, the Node MCU ESP8266 and laptop both are connected with the Wi-Fi. It doesn't matter if you use the same or different Wi-Fi networks. Now, I'm going to open my Thinker.io dashboard. You can see I have added four buttons to control all the four lights. Since this is an IoT platform, so these four lights can be controlled from any part of the world provided if the internet connection is available. I'm sure by now you might have got an idea of how does this system work. So without any further delay, let's get started. The components and tools used in this project can be purchased from Amazon. The components purchase links are given in the description. Four relays are connected with the Node MCU ESP8266 Wi-Fi module, digital pins D0, D1, D3, and D4. If you are using a 5-volt relay module, then connect the VCC and ground pins of the relay module with the 5-volt and ground of the 5-volt power supply. And if you are using a 12-volt relay module, then you will need to connect an external 12-volt DC power supply. 
these are the PCBs I received from JLC PCB. As you can see, the quality is really great. The black and blue color solder masks looks amazing. Anyway, this is how the PCB boards look after soldering. This is the Node MCU ESP8266 development board, and I'm going to use this for testing all my Node MCU ESP8266 based IoT projects. And this is the relay module. Is I'm using 12 volt SPDT type relays. So using this DC female power jack, I will use an external 12 volt power supply. Anyway, if you want to make the same ESP8266 development board and relay module, then you can download the Gerber files from our website electronicclinic.com. I will provide a link in the description. Now let's go ahead and start with the Thinker.io IoT cloud platform. Go to thinker.io website and follow the same exact steps. There is nothing complicated. Now after filling all the device details, copy the device ID and open the programming which you can download from our website electronicclinic.com. I will provide a link in the description. And paste it next to the device ID in the Arduino Secrets.h. Next copy the device credentials and paste it next to the device credential. The username in the Arduino Secrets.h should be the same as your Gmail ID you use to register on the thinker.io cloud platform. Finally, click on the aid device. You can see zero bytes are transmitted and received as the device is offline because I have not yet uploaded the program. So let's go back to the program. Before you upload the program, first you will need to install the Thinker ESP8266 library. For this, go to sketch menu then to include library and click on the manage libraries. If you are using the node MCU esp 826655 module for the first time then you will also need to install the node MCU esp 826 board in the Arduino IDE. For this you can watch my getting started video on the node MCU esp 826 Search for the thinker.io As you can see, I have already installed the latest version of the Thinker.io. Make sure you have selected the right communication port and the right Node MCU port before you click on the upload button. You can download this entire code from our website electronicclinic.com. I will provide a link in the description. You can see the program has been uploaded and now let's go back to Thinker.io. Wait for a while or click on the refresh button. Now you can see the device is online. Now we will create a dashboard for controlling all the four lights. For this click on the dashboards and follow the same exact steps.
all the four switches have been added and now my home automation dashboard is ready now i can use these buttons to control my home appliances let's go ahead and watch the esp8266 and thinker.io based home automation project in action support me on patreon for more videos i hope you like today's episode like and share this video with your friends see you in next episode and thanks for watching